In today's video, I'll show you how to create a Google Maps API key for your project, and I'll also show you how to restrict that API key so that others cannot use it for their own projects. So let's begin. The first step is to go to Google Cloud, so I'll search for it. Let's click on the first link. And now as of October 2022, this is what the page looks like. So I'll click on sign up free at the top. And on the next page, we'll need to provide some personal information. So my country is already selected. So now I'll go ahead and select a description from this list. I'll choose personal project and I'll accept the terms of service. And I'll click on continue. Now on this page, we need to choose an account type and enter some payment information. So I'll go ahead and change this from business to individual. So the next step would be to enter my payment and billing information at the bottom, and then I'll click on start my free trial. So I'll enter this information off screen. I will see you guys on the other side. So once we have clicked start my free trial, we should land on this page where we can enter some information with regards to this offer from Google for $300 in credit to spend over the next 90 days. This is completely optional, but if you'd like, you can go through with it. So I'll just access this drop down menu and I'll select an option. Let's choose option number two. We want to learn about products and services and APIs. We want to use this for websites. I'll click on next. And for the final option, let's just say that I am a system admin. I'll click on done. And here we have some more offers, which I will skip for now. Now on this page, I'll go to the top where it says my first project. This project was created automatically but we are gonna create a new project. So now we can go ahead and change the name. If you're creating an app, it could be the name of the app. If it's a website, you could name it after the website. But in my case, to keep this simple, I'll just type in my website. So now we can go ahead and click on the create button at the bottom. So now the project is being created. Once it's done, close this notifications menu and click on Google Cloud at the top. Make sure your project is selected, then click on the menu icon. And from there, we can click on APIs and services. On the next page, we'll need to click on enable APIs and services at the top. And now we can see a list of multiple items. So we just need to click on maps on the left hand side to filter it. Now you'll need to enable multiple APIs and services. Some people may recommend enabling all of them, while others may recommend enabling just what you need. And that would make sense if the application specifies the required APIs. If you're not sure, you can just go ahead and enable all of them. You can always go back and disable them later on. So let's right click on the first one and open it in a new tab. I'll click on the tab and I'll click on enable. And we can just wait for the process to finish. Once it's done, we can close the tab. So instead of opening these one by one, we can open about three or four in separate tabs. So I'll start with geolocation, then I'll move to maps SDK, then roads API. Now we can go to each of the tabs to click on enable. Let's go to the next one. I'll click enable and we'll do the same for the next one. So once we're done enabling the last one, the first one should be ready. You'll see the icon change to a location pin. We have enabled two of them so far, so we can close this tab and we just need to repeat the process for all of the other APIs and services. So I'll just open each of them in a new tab and I'll go ahead and enable them. Once they are enabled, I'll just close the tabs. And I'll just repeat this until I have gone through the entire list. And this could be the most tedious part of this process if you do decide to enable all APIs and services. So once you've got to the last one, you should be able to see a list of all of the enabled APIs. And if you scroll down, there won't be any more additional APIs. So at this point, we can go ahead and click on credentials on the left hand side. Now let's click on create credentials at the top. Click API key. And now we have our API key, which we could go ahead and copy, but instead we'll click on edit API key. Since now we are going to restrict it. Let's rename this API key to something like Google Maps API. And under application restrictions, we can select the type of application we want to use this key for. I'm going to select HTTP referrers since I'll use this for our website. And on the right hand side, we have a guide that explains the format for the refer. So for a specific URL, you can simply type in the URL. For any URL in a single domain with no subdomain, we can type in the domain slash asterisk. And for a URL in a single subdomain, just type in the subdomain slash asterisk. For any subdomain or path URL in a single domain, 
type in asterisk dot the domain slash asterisk. And the final option is for a URL with a non-standard port. Let's use the previous option. So I'll just highlight and copy this and I'll scroll down and click on add an item and I'll paste it in the referral field, which has the same one as a placeholder. Let's view my website's URL. So I'll open a new tab and I'll click on this bookmark. So we can see that the URL is producttouch.xyz. We'll need to use this to replace the domain portion of the placeholder. So I'll just highlight the domain, then I'll type producttouch.xyz. So now we know that this covers any path for this domain and its subdomains. Since we're finished configuring this, we can click on done. If you want to configure API restrictions to restrict the APIs that your key can call, click restrict key, then select the API keys that you want to restrict from this menu. You can also filter your search. And as an example, if you want to restrict the maps JavaScript API, all you would need to do is highlight the API, check the box next to it and click on okay. So you can restrict APIs if you want to, but it's not always necessary. So for our example, I'll skip this step and I'll click on save. On this page next to our Google Maps API, I'll click on show key and I'll copy the key. Let's close this modal and I'll close the about us page as well. Then I'll open up a new tab to go to the back end of my website. So here we have a Google Maps block from order, which by the way, you should check out if you build your websites using WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. So I'll just go to this field and paste my API key. Then I'll click on the save button. And at this point, the block will refresh and we'll see the Google map. So now we can take a look at this on the front end. I'll hit preview. Let's open it in a new tab and we can go ahead and test it out to confirm that it works. So you now know how to create and restrict a Google maps API key. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.